first in the blue corner, wearing the green trunks with the white trim. He tipped in at 236 and one quarter pounds. This gentleman has 17 wins, nine losses with eight knockouts. All the way from San Jose, California. Boxing fans, here is Irish Michael Jamison. Jamison. And his opponent in the red corner, wearing the solid black trunks. He weighed in at an even 215 pounds. This young man is undefeated in 16 professional bouts with 16 straight knockouts from Catskill, New York. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Mike Tyson. Tyson. Coming a world-class man. Don't blink. This is round number one. So to speak in this fight, Tyson is noted for his very vicious quick starts and he has set the pace right up right from the word go. Mike Tyson is a finisher. He's established that early in his career. He started to fight off with some wicked right punches and left hooks to the body, which seems to be his trademark. People have compared his punching power to guys like George Foreman and Joe Frazier saying he punches the same, but he's so much faster. It could be over early. As we pointed out, 12 of his 16 pro fights have ended in the very first round. Tyson's longest fight, a fourth round KO of Don Helpin in his third pro fight. Remember, he's been a pro for only 11 months. Yeah, Ken, he has a long, long road ahead of him. He is a young, strong kid. He does, as they say, have a lot to learn, but he's got plenty of time. Round number one. Jameson is uh, doing what I think he has to do, and that's keep on the move. Keep uh, Tyson off balance, and don't lay on those ropes and let him get set up for those wicked punches he throws. He's connecting very well, though, with some good body shots, hard body shots. Jameson's tying him up pretty effectively, tying his punches up and close, not, in allow, not allowing Tyson to get off of these punches. Mike Jameson in the green, you look at him, he's done what a lot of fighters have been unable to do against Mike Tyson. He's lasted a minute and 45 seconds. Jameson's hands seem to be dropping rather fast, though. He is, he's a little bit concerned about those hard body punches, and as you see now, his, his, both his hands are down by chest level, and that's just the opening I think Tyson's waiting for. Tyson fought just 13 days ago, and he had a first-round knockout of Dave Jacko. His next fight, February 16th, against Carl The Truth Williams in Troy, New York. And that really will be the first big test for Mike Tyson. This is the first round. He's trying to finish off Mike Jamison. Tyson connected with a, a good right hand there, and he immediately come back with a good left hook to the body. That's a very good sign that this young fighter is learning what his trainers are telling him. Don't go head hunting. When you connect with that head punch, go right to the body. Jamison now, within 15 seconds of surviving the first round. Will he survive? We'll stay here at the end of round number one. Mike Tyson in the black trunks figures to be the next heavyweight champion of the world. Tyson. Set now. Jameson, he's, I think his corners told him, hey, man, you've got the reach. Why don't you use it? Get that left jab out and keep this little guy off you. He here did. comes Tyson. Jameson battling back right above us here in Atlantic City. Who a right connects to Tyson. One thing about Tyson, he has really not been tested in his career. A lot of the, uh, so to speak, boxing experts are, are wondering, now what happens when this young kid that can punch so hard hits someone and they're still standing there and comes back and hits them back? Is he going to be discouraged or what? This is what experience will tell. Everybody's yet to find this out. Approaching the one minute mark in the second round. Of course, we say Tyson hasn't been tested, certainly not as a pro. As an amateur, he lost to 1984 Olympic gold medalist Henry Tillman. That took away his opportunity to 
compete in the 84 Olympics in Los Angeles. Jameson has, uh, sub sub has suffered a cut over his left eye. He has a pretty bad cut just over the left eye. It's in a very bad position because if it starts bleeding profusely, it's going to go in the eye and it's going to affect his vision. Uh, I think it was opened with some of those nice uppercuts that uh, Tyson's been throwing when he gets close to him. Quite a contrast in conditioning here. Tyson superbly conditioned. Tyson does not have that extreme height. He's 5'11", has the huge neck, 19 and 3 quarter inches. Tyson the strong left to Jamison in round number two. Tyson is showing some, showing me at least some tremendous power. His opponent weighs 236 pounds, and he is just pushing this big guy all over the ring, pushing him away, maneuvering him from maneuvering him into positions where he wants him to be, so as he can land the best punches. He's showing me some tremendous strength in there. And the blood on the face of Mike Jamison, very evident here in the second round. Jamison this morning had a full beard. He was informed by the boxing folks here in New Jersey that that would have to disappear, and it has. Good right hand landed there, and if, as you've seen, Jameson shook his head as if to say, no, nope, he didn't hurt me, but 99% of the time it did hurt him. The left, the right to the side, late in the second round. Referee Joe Cortez breaking up the fighters. And Tyson just keeps coming at Mike Jamison. We'll take a break here at the end of round two. See Ken Wilson with Murray. I think Mike Tyson doesn't know the word back up. He has not taken one backward step in this fight. He has been continually pushing forward, pushing the fight, setting his type of pace. Tyson very, very dedicated. Vicious right hand just landed there from Mike Tyson. Jameson grabbed him, held on to him, cleared his head a little bit. A little bit of experience is starting to show here. Jameson, he knows what to do when he gets hurt. He's done quite a bit of clutching and grabbing in the first three rounds. And if you were in that position, that would be a pretty good philosophy. You see the low blow, and Tyson gets a warning, and Jameson let everyone know that he'd been hit below the belt. Yeah, a little bit. Uh, a little bit showmanship there, but as you heard the response from the crowd, we've got a very pro Tyson crowd here. They showed their disrespect for the, what the uh, judge's decision there. Again, Tyson just continues to bang to those ribs. It is a pro Mike Tyson boxing world here in the first month of 1986. They're hungry for a new heavyweight, for someone who is as aggressive as Mike Tyson. And he certainly is showing what has gotten him to a 16-0 record here tonight in the early rounds against an outmatched Mike Jamison. A lot of holding going on going on right now, Ken. The uh, Jamison's starting to feel the effects of those big punches, such as that good right hand that snuck in there. And he's starting to hold on, buy some time, clear his head. This is where the experience comes in. This is what Mike Tyson is going to have to learn to do. There was a very, we're going to stay right here in Atlantic City. These are the kind of rounds I like, uh, Ken, when I'm in there. Round about the 10th round, I like to see those two-minute rounds. Well, there's nothing wrong with a two-minute round. It changes the rules a little bit here at the Trump Casino Hotel. A short round three. Mike Tyson getting ready, taking some instruction for round number four. Take a deep breath. There's some good punches here. They will see the low blow, which you'll see Jameson signaling to the referee, telling him, hey, you hit me low. Do something about it. Now, round number four, as we mentioned, Tyson. Only once has been taken as far as the fourth round. That was in his third fight as a pro. This is his 17th fight. You, you, I, I caught just when Jameson went into that clinch there. He's six foot four, yet he dropped his head really low and clashed heads with Mike Tyson. The referee picked it up, 
thinking that Jameson's intentionally trying to butt Tyson and give him the warning. This is this is all experience. This is what having 31 pro win, pro fights does for you. You learn all these little tricks. Mike Tyson getting tested more tonight than he usually has been, and knows that Charles the Truth Williams in mid-February will test him even further. Yes, this this will be a good tune-up fight for him. The longer it goes, the more he learns. You learn everything. You learn things from every fight that you fight in. Mike Tyson takes two steps forward. Let's go with a couple of lefts. Now a right, a left. He's got him down. Mike Tyson sends Mike Jamison to the mat here in round number four. And very quickly, Jamison. And Jamison wants to continue. Watch the quick flurries that Tyson throws, Ken. He throws flurries and punches like a welterweight. It's very seldom you see a heavyweight throw a combination of five and six punches. But Mike Tyson does it. Here he is again. The word explosive really not enough to describe the punches of Mike Tyson at age 19 trying to extend his record to 17 and all. Mike Tyson's been noted for his finishes. They say that once he gets a guy hurt he knows how to get him out of there and he's going about it the right way. Here he comes Tyson who wants to be a finisher like Ray Leonard Ray Robinson and Joe Lewis trying to finish Mike Jameson here in the fourth round in Atlantic City. At the end of this fourth round, we'll have a local break for our stations across the country, position number three. And if there is a round five, that'll be an extremely unique position for young Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson landed an explosive left hook there as he jumped in. I really don't know what's keeping Jameson on his feet. He just, he's just one tough customer. The last half minute of the fourth round, Don Halpin took Tyson into the fourth round before he was KO'd in Tyson's third pro fight. Now, Jameson trying to extend Tyson to the fifth round here tonight. And we'll take a look.